Episode 68 part 2 of Skibbity Toilet already is out. It just came out two days ago and we're starting to work on the update. We just had one of the biggest updates so far, the Christmas event, which not gonna lie, I probably should have made the Titan Present Man a little rarer. Maybe 0.1%. Now I don't do that in the future, but anyways, I'm gonna be showing some leaks of our next update. Quick, if you don't like and subscribe, uh, I'm gonna turn the North Pole upside down, which makes it the South Pole. Anyways, let's get started with the leaks. So if we go over to Skibbity Toilet, the very first thing is this cameraman. He has some sort of green laser. This seems to be coming out of his glove or something. So here is what we're adding. It is going to be the green laser cameraman. And this guy actually has like a laser thing on his hand. And he's going to do something very, very cool. Right now, pretty much all stun units in the game slow things down by 75% or not by 75% but to like 75% of its original speed. The only exception was the mythic sinister titan tv man but that is already getting somewhat common and because it's literally splash that is like way too overpowered. Something is going to slow something down more than 25% it is not going to be splash because that is just way too OP. So this green laser cameraman is well it looks like he hacked the door in the show so he's going to hack the toilet and makes them go a lot slower. It is not gonna be AoE, but it is going to be very, very worth it. Now, he's only gonna be able to be placed four times. If he slows things down a lot, it would be way too OP to have them, like, all over the map. So we're gonna try to balance him where he's a good and unique unit, but also not, like, insanely overpowered so that you need him or else you're not gonna win as fast as other people with other strategies. But there were a lot of new things in this episode. Like, you see this? forklift toilet guy and then also there are toxic jetpack toilets let me show you what we're adding for these guys real quick first one forklift toilet this guy is gonna be pretty funny he is literally going to carry a toilet so like the first toilet he makes contact with that's in front of him with less health or less speed actually yeah it's gonna have to be lower speed than him or else it wouldn't really make that much sense so he can pick up one toilet that has less health and speed than him and he straight up just carries them with him until the end. Now, if it dies, after one second, he can pick up a new toilet. So he's going to be a little fast. And of course, he's going to have a lot of health and be somewhat strong. So it's most likely just going to be on Nightmare and the Christmas mode. But then there's also the toxic flying toilet, the guy with the two barrels and a jetpack. So if you remember our explosive flying toilet, whenever it crashed into a unit, it explodes and stuns everything in the area. So this is just going to be a slight stronger version of that he's gonna keep them stunned a little longer have a little bit more explosion range and a little bit more health so he's gonna spawn on later waves instead of the explosive flying toilet then here you can get a better view of the forklift guy you can see he has a jetpack two arms and a helmet and then jesse we need to skibidi bop bop yes yes skibidi bop bop skibidi double dip needy so i thought a lot about what we could do with these guys since this is kind of just added as something Something funny, not really like main skibbity toilet characters. So I decided we're actually going to have something very secret with these. I'm not gonna explain it. No one needs to know. And we'll let people figure out what happens with these after the update. But here they are in game. They're the teacher toilet and the student toilet. Then there's also the welder toilet. So as you can see, he has one welding arm and one claw arm. So I had a pretty funny idea for this guy. He's gonna use his grabbing arm to of course grab any like large unit but he can stun them kind of like the claw toilet but he's gonna use the other arm to weld two random toilets together so what i mean by that is let's say for example there is a large toilet and a vacuum toilet so he's actually gonna if they're close enough weld both of them together and his speed's gonna be very slow so he can hold the toilets behind and weld things while they pass him actually he could use his claw to grab the toilet in front of him and then wait until one passes and do that. Then there's also this guy which has, I'm not even sure what those two things are by his head, but he definitely has two lasers, a jetpack, and some robot arms. So if we play it and look at it from a slightly different angle, those are definitely lasers. And then he has 
two claw looking arms and two more arms. But here's what he's gonna look like in Toilet Tower Defense. So as you can see, he has two lasers, two arms to grab things, and four stabby things. So he's gonna use all four stabby things on a single unit. And then his lasers will have the same range as the boss toilet 2.0. And the claws can grab things like the claw toilet. So this guy has a lot of weapons. He is pretty good. It's not gonna be the new final boss. It's not that strong looking, but it's definitely gonna be somewhat up there. Maybe within like the top five strongest toilets in our game. Maybe just in the top 10. We will see. But none of these toilets seem that weak. The only one that might be on some other maps besides Nightmare and the Christmas mode. Hard mode could have the toxic flying toilet that has like toxic barrels and explodes, but after all of it's scripted, I'll add it into all the maps. And we still also have to work on the New Year's update because, I mean, we could have this update and then the New Year's update later. Like we could aim to have this update release on maybe the 17th, 18th, or 19th sometime in that time. And then the New Year's update could be maybe the Christmas Eve, so pretty much like a week later. So the New Year's event, yeah, most likely will be the update after next update, because this one's pretty much just a bit of toilets and one new unit. And if we split it up into two updates, we'd have more time to do some other things in the episode 68 update, like balancing things more. And we already made like, okay, some people were wanting us to lower the percent of getting present man on the crate. And while a lot of people are asking that, I guarantee if we did that, a lot of people would also be really mad after they spent time like grinding it and stuff. But some of the Christmas units are gonna be balanced more. Like right now the Titan present man is way too OP for how common it is. For some reason, people have been giving me a lot of spider crates. I think I have like a hundred-ish right now, although I have so many. It's the map. I have 109. So anyways, after this update and the New Year's update, we are going to start working on boost units and endless mode. The only other things we will work on, unless if I have a really good idea, will just be the normal update stuff for when new episodes come out. But our main focus is going to be boosting units and endless mode. So if you're wondering why we can't just add boosting units right now, I've said this in a couple other videos. Videos, but for those I haven't heard, a lot of the older units would have to be re-scripted. I think more than like half of our units would need to be re-scripted for that to work. So it would take a really long time because right now the way most units are aren't scripted in a way that would allow us to add a booster unit to boost their stats. So that would take a pretty long time. And also for endless mode, we'd have to develop an algorithm. I already made like a spreadsheet with all the data to calculate how strong toilets are. I use that to balance Halloween and the Christmas modes to make sure we didn't have another incident like with Nightmare Mode when it first came out. Because when Nightmare Mode first came out, it was way too hard. If you guys are OGs in this game, you probably remember that. But with this algorithm, I can pretty much calculate how many people will be able to win. And it's been right about this event and the turkey event so far. So if we can turn it into a script, then we can definitely create a difficulty algorithm for Endless Mode. But that all sounds pretty difficult. So so that will probably be done sometime in January. Now I'm also getting busy with some personal things, so I might not be as active. But majority of the stuff for endless mode will just be scripting, and I can hire someone to make the map, so it won't be that difficult for me. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the leaks video. So wait, one more thing I wanted to mention. I got a little confused because yesterday Skibbity Toilet 68 Part 3 came out, but that was like one day after Part 2, and then I watched it and realized. It was kind of just 68 part 2 split up into two videos because this one was like pretty long So the full episode came out today, which means the next episode is going to be episode 69 Which is probably also gonna be our New Year's update because if it takes about on average now It seems like it's taking 12 days for a new episode to come out and it's been two days This update will probably be within at five days most. But anyways, that's it for the video now like and subscribe Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video